So here I am on the McGregor 26M. Unfortunately, it's really rainy today. So I'll get some video of outside as well in a minute here. But coming inside the cabin, we have our electrical panel. Our VHF radio, which was replaced recently. Fire extinguisher. Then the aft berth here. I have the cockpit cushions inside so they don't get soaked. And then a sleeping bag back there. We have some storage up here. Those are pillows and blankets. And storage on this side as well. Interior lighting is LED throughout. I've changed a couple of these so that they can be both red and white. The red I like at night to not impair my night vision if I'm getting up and walking around the, the cabin. Have some storage here. This was from Blue Water Yachts, as well as on this side. The sink has both hot water and cold water. There's an electric water pump on this side here, as well as hot water on and off. The hot water only works on shore power. The windows have these custom cutouts to help keep out the sun. So they're for all the windows. I have a few of them up currently. And then on this side, we have the table, which drops down and can become another berth. Our stereo system, some more storage. And then coming forward, more of these window covers. This is potentially another berth. One of my kids has slept there. And then we have these custom made shades here as well to cover up these windows if you're in a place where it gets really hot. And then the head here again with red LED lighting, which is great at night. This is a porta potty curve model with electric flushing. And then the forward berth here with more storage uh, custom made from Blue Water Yachts. LED lighting. And then the port up there. Okay, so now I've disassembled the aft berth so you can see the water system here, which is pretty cool. There's a Plastimo, I think, 50 liter bag there. And the way this works is that at the aft end of the boat, there's a hose inlet. The water comes in here and it's filtered and then gets stored in the Plastimo bag. There are valves so you can fill. And that's the electric water pump. So that's turned on here. And then when we want water, you can hear the pump flowing. That's the hot and the cold. So they both work really well. The electrical system has been changed significantly. So we have a solar charge controller in here. The solar panel I don't have up currently. It's stored right here inside because of the rain. But this controls both batteries. And you can set which battery is primary and secondary and we'll charge them both. In addition, we have a charge controller here. Hard to see, but that is a charge controller for the shore power. And then under here, we have our two gel deep cycle batteries. The yellow one on the right is the house battery. This was just replaced actually today. And then the blue deep cycle battery is only for uh, starting the motor. I've run all these wires and labeled them so you know what they are. There's a bilge pump in here as well with a manual override and everything else that comes in here, the GPS, water pump, etc. 
So again, it's raining nicely here today in Iowa, but here's the boat at anchor, or in its mooring in our marina. So we have a furling jib up currently. There's a Genoa as well. I think it's 150%. Up front we have a CDI FF2 or one roller curler. Anchor locker up front as well. We have our stacking mainsail cover. This was also from Blue Water Yachts with the Lazy Jacks. Have the Dodger up. The Bimini. Cushions on the back rails. There are covers for those uh, stern seats as well. The Mercury four stroke, 60 horsepower command for us outboard. Have the rudders in the up position. So now I'll step on board and show you the cockpit. So in the cockpit now, looking forward, covered by the Bimini, see the Dodger. Some nice aspects of this boat. Rope clutches on either side. So here I have the main halyard and then the dagger board line. That green line is a uh, single line reef. And the ropes are nice and clean there, hanging. On the other side, we have the same thing. Two more clutches. So the furling line is the black one. So the furling line runs forward off of the deck. I installed those on the outside of the uh, stanchions. And then this one is the spinnaker halyard, but I also use it to lift the sock that covers the Genoa jib. So the main sheet traveler, the main sheet. And here's our new Garmin GPS, which was installed recently. We have a throttle over here, lifts and lowers the motor. This is a new 12 gallon gas tank, just installed a couple weeks ago, working really well. And then here's the motor start. Starts nicely, works appropriately, sounds good. These are the lines to lift and lower the two rudders. Hardware here for the sheets for the uh, spinnaker, and I usually run the spinnaker up to the winches. This hardware here is used for the Genoa or uh, sheets for the chip. This was new as well, just in the past couple of months. I'm try and look forward here, I'm trying to get too wet. All these blocks were replaced in the past couple of years. Boom bang. Dagger board, which I have a new dagger board that just showed up this weekend, so I'm gonna install that today if it stops raining. And our stacking main, main sheet cover. Keeps the water out, keeps the main sheet dry. Moving forward, An anchor locker with two anchors. And we have two spade type anchors here with chain and different color coded ropes. Up here is a roller for the anchor, but also where we can fix the ballast grip. Fly the general, I'm sorry, the uh, spin. And 
looking aft. Doesn't seem like a great day to go sailing, unfortunately. It's the VHF antenna. 